In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build and run the SAW test scenario using the Parasoft Continuous Test Platform. First of all, I'm going to launch my web browser and load my Parasoft Continuous Test Platform. What you're seeing right now is the continuous test platform, which opened in the environment manager perspective. I'm going to create tests. So I'm switching my perspective to API testing. This is a place where you can create our test scenarios. On the top right hand side, there is a drop down. There are various options to create our test. I'm going to choose the first one, which is create test scenario. As an example that we are taking today, I'm going to choose a loan processor web application. And that web application contains one operation, which is request loan. And in this test, we are going to verify the response that is coming back from the web service. I'm going to name this test as Loan processor test. Give some description of this test. I'm going to choose Wisdom from the drop down because my service description is Wisdom. I'm going to pass the URL of the Wisdom file here and I'm going to hit save. So, as soon as I hit save, it has created a test suite with all my SOAP clients. So, I'm going to go to my request loan SOAP client. So you can see information here about the test. And when you move to the bottom, you can, cre you can see the place where you can create the request. And I'm going to go ahead and create a request for my request loan operation. And I'm requesting a loan amount of $1,000 and down payment 100. Get this loan approved. My web application is by default configured as if the down payment should be 10% to get the loan approved. So I'm going to save this request and I'm going to test the request once before I add my assertion. Looks like my test is successful. I'm going to look at my traffic viewer. So you can see the request that we have created using the SOAP client. And when we move to the bottom, you can also see the response that came back from the web service. So now I'm going to add a validation on the status of the response that we got back. So to add the validation, I'm going to switch my view to my request loan SOAP client. So on the top right hand side, you can see various options to add validations. So I'm going to choose add XML assertion because I have the response coming back from a web service as an XML. So I'm going to choose this XML assertion and I can choose various assertion on top of my response. 
So I'm going to choose the value assertion. So in this value assertion, you can validate a particular value in your response. In this case, I'm going to validate the response that is coming back for the status of my loan. So we need to fill in some details to add this assertion. First of all, we can add a name for this assertion, which is a mandatory field. So I'm going to add an assertion name. I'm going to choose the element which I'm adding my assertion. So this is the element I have to choose and and the value I'm looking for true. This test gets passed if I get my value as true from the web service. So I'm going to save this XML assertion. My XML assertion is saved. So I'm going to run the test again. You can see my test code succeeded with a newly added validation. And we can also view the report by clicking this link. You can see my test code succeeded. So I have run one test and it is successful. And we can also view the traffic. So this is the request with the request headers. And this is the request body. And this is where we have passed our $1,000 in the request and the down payment of 100. And this is the response header. And we can see the loan got approved and our test got succeeded.